So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to take meeting minutes in Microsoft Teams because there's a quite a few different nuanced ways either to take notes or that you have to take notes depending on how you set up a Microsoft meeting at the time of recording, which I hope Microsoft sort out because it does get a little bit confusing. But let's go and have a look. I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director at Me Time Limited, where we help organizations be more efficient using Microsoft technology. Stick around to the end if you want to find out more about how we might be able to work together. So I made a video about Microsoft Loop meeting notes, which you can check out here. This video is just trying to bring all the nuances together. So if you want to take meeting minutes in Microsoft Teams, here's the best way to do it, depending on how you set the call up. So probably the most likely way you will have set the call up is through the calendar and done a, a scheduled meeting. And like we did in the previous video, if you click new meeting, you've now an add an agenda others can edit. So you can put your agenda right in there as you're doing the meeting. And when we click that, it makes the Microsoft Loop page with a couple of components where you can put the agenda and then you can add your meeting notes as you're going through the meeting. If we do a meet now, you can't take meeting notes. If we joined our scheduled meeting and we get this little notes section now, whether we put the agenda and topic note name and stuff in beforehand is irrespective. We can now take the meeting notes and everybody can put notes in there. So it's not just one minute taker. That's going to be live for everybody that's in the meeting. Although Microsoft are not great at saying whether that's available externally, which I, at the time of recording, don't believe it is. So if you've got external participants, they won't be able to see those meeting notes during the meeting, before or after, uh, which might be a deal breaker for you. Like we showed in the previous video, the tasks go through into Planner, but if you've already got a Planner, it can't link it to a Planner you're already using. It just goes into a loop plan, which you can have a look at in a previous meeting if you want more nuance. So if you've got a scheduled meeting from your calendar, then you will be able to use the Notes tab to take your meeting minutes, which you can just type in here. Everyone can see them. And um, you can also put your actions from Planner straight in there, as long as you don't want to show them up in an existing planner, which might be fine, as long as you don't have any external participants. Got new videos on Microsoft Teams and everything to do with Microsoft at work coming out every Tuesday, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time one of those comes out. If, like I suggest, you keep everything together in your channel and keep things in threads of information and uh, say we had a conversation thread going on and we thought actually this is you know between a few people this has gone on let's do a meeting about just just to sort stuff out you can add a meeting either from here or do a schedule a meeting in your channel from up here it's best to keep it in the thread of information so you don't have two splits but if it's a brand new meeting you can do it from the top if it's to do with the thread of information already you can do it in the reply and so we'll schedule a meeting and see that loop thing popped up and now it's disappeared. So you can't use loop in a in a channel at the time of recording and therefore you can't use the meeting notes function which uses loop in a channel meeting, which Microsoft are not great at saying that you can and can't do that thing. So let's have a schedule meeting in the channel. We'll send it to our participants of which there aren't any at the moment. And then we get a scheduled meeting any chat that goes on in the meeting will be in this thread of information. So it's keeping everything together in context. You can see who's attended the meeting. When the meeting starts, people can see a little icon that's a meeting going on. I'll see a big purple box at the bottom until the new Teams comes when it's less purple and more white. Who knows what they get, what color that is. Um, and we can, anyone can join that meeting so they can every, see that everything's going on. I think that's really beneficial. I think the functionality is great. It's really disappointing then that Microsoft don't include other things to make channel meetings better. I don't know why Microsoft seems to hate channel meetings. So intelligent recap doesn't work in channel meetings, but it's not documented that it doesn't. And loop doesn't work in a channel. And but meeting notes that uses loop isn't specific. You, know, you have to figure that out. It doesn't specifically say it doesn't work in a channel meeting. So if we join that channel meeting, you just simply don't get the notes app at the top. So it doesn't say it doesn't work. There's no 
thing to, to show that it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So if you want to take notes in a channel meeting, basically you've only got a couple of options either because if you've kept the meeting in the thread of information, you can just take the minutes into the chat and it's going to be kept in the thread of information that's uh, that's in the in the channel. So if we jump back to here, you can see that the, those replies are all going to be kept in thread. The, the meeting itself is in the thread of information that we started and anything we type in chat is in that thread of information. So at least everything is kept together in context. But that's not great because we're missing out on something being a bit more permanent than that. So pretty much the only option you've got if you've got a channel meeting is to use some sort of notes app. So Wiki is now going starting September 2023. So basically you need to have a OneNote to take some notes in and you can set up OneNote as a tab in the channel and then take notes there. You need a bit of screen real estate because you're going to need to put them side by side if you want to see what's going on in the meeting and take notes. So I'm sure that's that's fine, but there's no way of getting that to show right in the meeting like, like this does. So if we searched for OneNote, you can, there's no app for OneNote that works in a Teams meeting, which is annoying considering it's, it's Microsoft that makes both those things. So pretty much your options if you've got channel meeting is meeting chat, OneNote, or to just to go direct to planner. So just have a planner that's set up in your team and same thing is I would, so if we've got a, a cleaner planner, there we go. I would just take the minutes as cards and then decide whether they're actions or not at the end of the meeting. So like, look, here's all the stuff I got from the meeting. Let's go back through who's going to do this. Where's it need to be done by? You know, most minutes are going to be tasks coming out of a meeting, you would hope, if it's an action-oriented meeting. And if you want to know what's gone on, then maybe look at the transcripts or just type something. Here's a summary of what we've talked about in the chat. Or you could put all that in, into Planner. Or if it was a really important meeting, you can do it in a SharePoint page, which if you're interested in that, I've got another video on that just here, which I won't go into right now. So depending on how you're having the meeting, it's different functionality, which is confusing for a normal person just wanting to do a normal job. So if you're in a channel meeting, you've got to use Planner or OneNote. If you're in a scheduled meeting from the calendar where everything then comes into chat once you finish the meeting, you can use the meeting notes new functionality in there, which happens to be a Microsoft loop. But the downside of that is it, get, it still lives in chat, so you're probably going to lose it because it'll just go off the top of the page at some point. I would say it's better off in OneNote. And if you're using external participants, they're not going to be able to see that loop. So they're not going to be able to see that, that those notes anyway. Um, and so if you're using external people, you're basically just having to copy that out, stick it in an email and send it to them, I would suggest, um, rather than using anything fancy. If they're external and they're, and they're quite close, closely working with you, you might decide to add them into your team or have a special team. You can collaborate on stuff with them and then the channel meetings are beneficial. And then if you want to keep stuff permanently, it will live in OneNote and Planner. So um, yeah, a few nuances about how to take meeting minutes in Microsoft Teams at the time of recording. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's over complicated? Let me know in the comments below. How do you use them at work? Have you got a lot of external people? Do you use channel meetings? Let me know in the comments below. Really interested to hear your thoughts. So if you need more help getting the most out of Microsoft for your organization, saving your employees, time at work to do more of the things they love, increase sales and increase well-being, then let's chat, book a call using the link in the description below. If you just need some help personally, we've got a personal productivity course, which you can also find linked in the comments below. And if you just want to support the channel, see these videos keep coming out, then consider buying some beer using super thanks just under the video on YouTube. Getting a Tesla with our referral link or changing your energy supplier all help support the channel and keep the videos coming out. If not, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, it really helps us in the algorithm. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already, we've got new videos coming out on Tuesday. And thanks for watching so far, we'll see you in the next one.